to show you nice and thin. So this is one of those that just has everything everything you're looking for. So this is a workhorse of a PC, but it also is very fun, very easy to use. And with that hyper-threading technology, this is so important because the Core i5 is a dual-core processor. But quite often, you're doing more than two things at once. But with the core, what the hyper-threading does, it turns those two cores into four cores. So now you just don't do a couple things at a time. You can run multiple things at a time. And now that's how you get over 200% more power. That's faster boot-ups. That's faster online. That's faster watching movies. That's why you're checking out uh, your TV shows online. There's no buffering. There's no hesitation. It's all about performance. We've never had a processor as powerful as this one. Okay. All right, this is actually a 64-bit processor, a 64-bit operating system. Really, what does all that mean to you? It means how much information can pass through the processor at once. There are historically 16-bit processors, 32-bit processors. Obviously, a 32-bit processor can only handle half as much as what this guy does. So when you have a 32-bit versus a 64, the 64-bit is going to do it twice as fast. It can handle more information. It gives you less hourglass, less hesitation, and most importantly, less frustration with your PC. So because because this is a 64-bit operating system, 64-bit processor, these things are designed to work hand-in-hand -hand with one another. It's like Alice mentioned, this is brand new hardware, brand new chassis, brand new Actually, operating system. video this content, chassis. and that requires a lot more energy and power to download it and to watch it, but you know what? You're going to be covered because you're getting the latest processor out there, that Intel iCore 5. There are so much other feature-rich benefits to this computer, but you look at what this processor does. You need 2.5 gigahertz clock speed you're going to have that. But with Turbo Boost, it'll jump up to 3.1. And you have a dual-core processor, which keeps things running efficiently, but hyper-threading technology, that will turn the dual-core into almost a quad-core. So when you really need to pull energy, you have it. You have Intel Quick Sync Video, Intel High Definition Graphics for gaming, for watching home movies, or streaming movies, and then the Intel Clear Video Technology. That just means you're going to have a beautiful crisp imagery. You're going to have great memories to just enjoy and, and watch without a little, you know, buffering symbol. Mm -hmm. Not going to have that issue with this computer. And that processor is what most mm -hmm. of us, the first thing that we look at when we're talking about buying a new computer. And you are getting the latest generation. We said third generation, but that is the latest generation. And the big deal is it's not a little bit better than the previous generation. It's 210% faster. So if you are tired of waiting, if you are patience impaired like me, if <laughs> you want to do it now, 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 and we'll be showing you some of that because couple that with Windows 8 and you really have a speed demon in a computer, this is the way to go. So that processor, you will love. But that's only the beginning. You just have a desktop for the family. This laptop works as that. You can have it for the kids. You can have it for the mom and dad. Used to be a laptop for mom, a laptop for dad. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, this will accommodate everyone. So that processor that you're getting, it's from Intel. It's their latest generation, the third generation I Core, the Core i5 processor. You run at 2.5 hertz clock, that's the clock speed, but when you need more speed to 3.1, you have that. You have that dual core processor. That's two engines, but that hyper-threading, that makes it quad core, where you're gonna have four engines underneath. And then you have your quick sync videos, your HD graphics, and then literally your clear video high definition technology. And remember, 50% of all internet traffic is streaming of videos and watching videos. The web pages are getting more complicated. And here's Turbo Boost. You're just normally going along, but when you need that Whoa. extra power yeah. to push it up the hill, to make that jump, whether you're getting more bandwidth and you need to download more stuff, you have that power when you need it. Technology. Because here at HSN, I mean, and we do a great computer business, but we very rarely have the core i5 technology. I'm talking about literally a couple times a year. Sometimes we have the core i3, and that's a big deal. But to get the core i5 technology, which is giving you 210% more speed, that's mm -hmm. mind boggling to think about how much faster that's going to be. And with that four gigs of RAM, you're never going to have to worry about waiting. Look, the fact it's dual core, but in all honesty, it performs like a quad core because of the hyper threading technology. If you have been on a friend's quad core and you're like, that's so fast, you'll feel like yours is a quad core because it has hyper threading. It has that turbo boost. So we are talking about fast, 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 performance, 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 and doing so many different things at mm -hmm. once. Right, Bill? So many different things because you have the meat in there that's really going to give you that performance you need. 
need. But then when you really add that jewel on top of it, it's that Windows 8 experience. Because One, we love Core i3, Navigate. and I'm not knocking that because that is pretty darn phenomenal. This is Core i5, the third generation from Intel, where you are getting 210% more speed. It's dual core, but it performs like quad core because you have that hyper threading technology. You have that turbo boost. You get phenomenal clear HD video technology, phenomenal graphics if you're a gamer, that quick sync video. I mean, it really is the most amazing experience. It's almost like 3D. And then on top of that. That Intel i5 processor, that means you are going to have the power when you need it, the hyper threading when you need it. You're going to run at 2.5 hertz, which is fine, but when you're starting to stream some more documents or you're doing online gaming or something to that effect, you will get that 3.1 hertz. Dual core processor, but with hyper threading, that becomes a quad core when right. you need that quad core. Yeah. And then you have all those great high definition graphics, but that is just the processing unit. But then <laughs> when you think about the operating system. We've all become accustomed media, to Windows 7. We're running more video than ever before. I mean, think about that. Think of every time, don't you look at videos all day? Doesn't it seem that somebody's either sending you a video? Uh, just today, I was I was receiving videos from Marianne and Richard Jacobs. They are over, they're traveling, they were in Bali, and they're sending beautiful videos. And it was so much fun to watch, but I was thinking about, you know, it's really the way we use our computers today. You need computers that have these features, because otherwise, your old computer is not keeping up. If your old computer is slow, if you have a dinosaur, if you're waiting on that hourglass, if you're wasting time, if the computer's crashing, if it takes forever to boot up, and like Bill's showing you, and then you have to remember a thousand different passwords to log on to all the different things, emails and social media and all that stuff, this remembers everything for you at the touch of a little picture. It brings it up for you automatically. It's so brilliant. I mean, this is called quick sync. Now, what are we looking at here, Bill? This just allows you to efficiently, whether taking media from a video camera, from your phone, or from your tablet, literally lets you sync it with this gateway laptop so much more efficiently because you have those USB 3 ports, because you have that Intel i5 processor built in. And just take this stat with you. That processor runs 210 times faster than the, the processor below it. And just imagine that. Imagine being able to do your dishes two, 210 times faster or your laundry. That's what you're going to be able to do. You're going to be able to compute that much faster, get all the information that you want at the point and click of a button. And the thing is, that's what we all want. We all want to be more efficient as possible. And this allows us to be more efficient how as efficient possible. Is, how the battery that? life lasts longer? That is because of the Intel processor. And that is because of Windows 8, because they do run more efficient. And you'll notice, you might use it just for word processing, which is fine because some of us just need to word process or send emails. But you notice this hyper threading? That is when we are all of a sudden, you know, someone sends us a video of, of a home movie. We want to download it faster. That hyper threading turns our dual core processor into a quad core. It makes our two engines into four engines so we can stream that media faster, so we can upload faster, send it, share it. Because this is where the technology has evolved. Four years ago, when Windows 7 came out, we were not streaming this much content. We were not able to share video files. We were not able to be social media con connected true, with isn't one it? billion people that's on very Facebook true. now. And now, that's how we live our life. Every day, we're checking Facebook, right. we're checking Twitter. We want to get those video clips. I mean, this is how it's evolved. And the beautiful part about that 17.3-inch screen, imagine that. We now watch TV on our laptops, something we didn't do you're four right. years ago Movies. when Windows came out. So you're going to have a more efficient experience. And I go back to my Windows 8 down here, and you're going to notice this is my sign-in system. Screen. You're Again, getting all the latest, and you're going to be ahead of the curve. You're getting this Intel i5 processor. This is just beautiful. It's a, really, that turbo boost, when you need that extra boost of power, you have that extra boost of power. You have a dual core processor built in, but also that hyper threading, that really allows you to be more efficient when that movie's coming through, whether kids are online gaming or you're just trying to stream, you're, you're, you're downloading a movie. And then you also have that quick sync video, then HD graphics, you've got to love the clarity of that, but then the clear video HD technology. That literally 
literally allows you to enjoy those videos with less buffering. I mean, how often do we get the hourglass and we just have to wait for it? Because we watch so much media content on our computers these days. Over 50% of all internet traffic is streaming of movies and videos. And I mean, look at web pages, how they've evolved right. in the last four years. So that is just the iCore 5 processor. But then when you look about all the I little benefits three and iCore 5, iCore 5, which you're getting included, it's the latest generation. It's their third generation. And that processor is 210% faster than the three. 210% wow. faster than what you normally would have. And the thing is, that is 2.5 gigahertz of speed. But when you need more, you have that turbo boost built in. Your dual core processor, which is efficient, it's two engines, which is better than one. But that hyper threading turns it into four engines when you need it. So you're not always running those four engines or those four air conditioners. But when you really need that extra boost of power for those games, those movies, or whatever, you're gonna have that extra boost and that extra amount of speed because this is an interesting statistic. We now, 50% of all internet traffic is video and multimedia content versus just emails of what they were in the past. And you'll see, I have emails up, I have video here, and it's going through my processor with no problem because it's hyper-threading, and that's just what it wants. It's using four engines when you need the four, but you have the two engines when you're just doing your mundane, you know, internet yeah. surfing or emails. But that's just it. This is evolved, and that's just the hyper-threading in the processor. Where you're also getting a lot of efficiency is with the introduction of Windows 8. You lose so much time waiting for something to upload and buffer and all this stuff, you're gonna have so much less of that. The processor 210 times faster and what allows it to run faster